welcome everyone. It's good to see a good turnout. Thanks very much for showing up. Um, I'm Philip Dobry and I'm the, the CEO of Jellyfish. I'm really here just to, to introduce the guys and give you a little bit of background to why we're doing this. Um, I hope some of you may know, some of you may not, but we've expanded rapidly in the last year or we've We've taken over a space actually in South London and Brixton, um, trying to desperately get out of central London and make a make a, a, a an effort to to say we well, don't have to be here. It's good to be here in in where it's happening in Soho, but you can also survive and compete by expanding further afield. Well, hello everyone. Thanks, thanks uh, for coming, and uh, it's a pretty good turnout here tonight. Um, I also, like to thanks uh, thanks HP for um, hosting the event and yeah, showing us some of their new kit coming out. Uh, my name is Jeremy Smith. I am the CETO at Jellyfish, and I am primarily responsible for all the infrastructure uh, deployment setup um, for render farms, servers, um, different renderers, software, you name it. Um, since I have started at Jellyfish Pictures, we have come from about a 10-man band to now a studio that can facilitate about 100 artists. When we decided to set up in Bricks, and we, didn't, we had to basically set up a new studio from scratch, essentially, and we decided we didn't want to do that. We wanted to use our existing infrastructure in Soho, use those resources basically outside of Soho. So how do we do that? And so I started looking at Several, tech, several solutions to see what the best way would be for that. And we partnered with a company called Exponential E, which provides basically a dedicated circuit between the two sites. This allows us to extend our studio rather than create, from, create another studio from scratch, which would be in completely separate isolation. So what I'm going to show you today is basically how we're able to work remotely, how hardware and resources and bricks can be used in Soho, and and vice versa. This here is a nuke file, or nuke script, from, for the same project. So we see that this is definitely a real nuke script. And again, this is running on a real machine, or sorry, on a, in a virtualized machine, and everything resolves and everything works. So basically, from an integration point of view, you won't know that it's not real. In the past, you would have to basically buy hardware, get it physically in the building, you'd have to physically power it, you have to cool it, and it would take you days, if not weeks, to get that sorted. But now you could spin these render nodes and virtual machines up in a matter of minutes. And that's what we set up to do when we started this project, and that's what we've, what, what, what we've achieved. Good evening, everyone. Um, my name's Dave Cook, and I'm a 3D artist. And it always, it always seems like... It always seems like a bit of a confession, that, really. Um, but I am a real 3D artist. I'm not a virtualized version of myself. I haven't managed to outsource my presentation or my rendering. I still have to physically do that myself. This is a little sort of guide to some of the, the sort of last minute things that get done in the, in the lighting and rendering area. Um, because the shorts are cloth, for example, there are a lot of fixes and adaptations that need to be done to prevent intersections and to make sure that the cloth hangs properly. So you can see all the little lattices there. And I use a, a, lot, of well, a lot of tricks like um, push deformers. I use secondary shape animation, which is something unique to Softimage, and also a lot of lattices. Um, if you're just starting out in 3D, the lattice is going to be your new best friend for the next 20 years. Hello, uh, my name's Tom, and I am the art director and creative lead at Jellyfish. So we shot it all in a studio on a Steadicam. This is one of our actors. Uh, shot it all on green. And then we took it back to the studio, tracked it, cleaned it all up, and started doing this. So frame, well, not every frame. We did it on two, so it's 12 frames a second. But we started going over it and um, drawing in a line pass, first of all. And then going over that, doing color fills, shadow passes, 
uh, highlight passes, all hand animated to respond to sort of effects and things like that that are going on in the, in the scene. And we built up layer upon layer upon layer, having previs the whole, the whole piece. So thank you very much. It was really interesting and inspiring. Yeah.